Blessing, dear brother and sister for Mission Ruach in the World. We have the today, the Sunday, 23rd from Ordinary Time. And uh, we have this beautiful gospel. We, we read together. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listen to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two other along the, with you and that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell to the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a gentle or a tax collector. A man, I say to you, whatever you bind on the earth shall be bound in the heaven, and whatever you lose on the earth shall be loosened in heaven. Again, a man, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything of which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered, Together in my name, they, I am in the middle, midst of them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord, Jesus Christ. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, then am I in the midst of them. The power of intercession in the church, in the family, between friends, it's very important in our church in all the world. When you stay together with your family and pray the rosary, the power is very great and beautiful because the Holy Virgin to see to the Father through Jesus to help you. Also very important to ask the Father for our conversion, but when sometimes somebody maybe it's damaging you, it's sinning against you. You need to correct. And the correction, sometimes if it's doing with resentment, can damage more than it can build the church. For this reason, to do the correction, we need to be with the heart of Jesus, charity. In truth, not in what you believe, it's what Jesus in Ten Commandments is telling. And... Uh, made to do with humbleness. And these three ingredients to have uh, a truly also correction can be do it personal and uh, very uh, profound and with the, the spirit of God. I remember a lady, she had some resentment with the parents and uh, she fasting, fast for many days and after she, the Holy Spirit in, uh, uh, pushed her into the heart to do this letter to them and to tell, you know, it's good to go to do your father and mother and talk with them. And he put in the letter, Mother, Father, I, want, I love you. I respect you, you know, deeply. Uh, I, want, I appreciate everything you do for me and for me, but I tell you also these things, not with resentment, but also with humbleness and uh, in truth also, and also because uh, in charity. I want to tell you that uh, maybe you don't know that things damage me. Uh, and I understand maybe because you receive this kind of education and you don't know that these things can damage. And this is true. Dear brother and sister, this uh, lady uh, have a reconciliation with uh, the parents, very beautiful, because uh, she correct with the heart of Jesus. And sometimes it's good to do this in the family, because our 
good uh, feeling of intercession in a family can be a fountain of blessing for each one of us. So hope uh, this is helping you to grow in love and remember that when you do the correction without mercy could be a huge uh, injustice. I remember this from one, the book of the Dostoevsky uh, reader. Um, I hope uh, you can do this with some member of your family, but remember if you find, you feel pleasure in this, this correction, it's not good. If you feel pain because something you don't like and you need to do this, this is, could be something is good. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Virgin be with you all the day of your life in a divine well. Amen.